Good afternoon, Socrates. Good afternoon. Welcome to the program. Good. Since Gregory has led you down the road of government, I have a question <laughs> with regards to, to <laughs> the government. Well, mm. opposition in this case. Yes. And I wanted to ask you, what, what do you see is, as the role of the opposition in St. Kitts and Nevis? The role of the opposition in any democracy is to, I would say, shadow the government when they pass legislation uh, to challenge them on it. Be involved in the governance of the country. Now, there's the role of the leader of the, of the opposition who is in, in parliament. He has, a, a, uh, he has to be as a counterbalance to mm -hmm. legislation and what's happening. His voice has to be heard. If there is legislation that benefits the country, support it. If the policy is being advanced, that does not let your voice be heard. But your presence in any democracy must be visible. You must be heard, and you must be seen to represent the interest of the people the, on a whole. Whether you're government or not, right. you're part of that structure. Right. I agree with most of what you said. Okay. Right? The primary the primary role is to scrutinize and oppose the government. Right? Policies, legislation, like you just said. So not even just when bills are being brought forth, but when mm -hmm. things are happening. The role is to challenge the government. Speak to but balance, yeah. In yeah, to create a balance and, mm -hmm. and to and to represent the people of the nation in that in that counterbalance. Correct. So in regards to all of that, do you think that under the current situation that we have in St. Kitts and the way, you know, obviously the constitution provides for it, that we have a proper balance and a proper um, opposition um, that doesn't operate to the detriment of the people of Nevis and also to the detriment of the people of St. Kitts who are entitled to that opposition. Because the way I see it, if the opposition fiercely challenges the government, it can be seen to, in some ways, operate counterintuitively and against the interests of the people of Nevis. And again, I, I don't see a proper setup in the parliamentary system that allows for this to happen effectively in the way that it, it's, it's, it's supposed currently to work. supposed to work and the way it's currently being operated. I see a huge flaw in that system. I am in total agreement with you. I was at a forum this morning where the Prime Minister was um, engaging um, the member from the private and public sector to get involved in a conversation. It's called um, 90 Days of Citizenship and Security. The um, leader of the PAM party, the Honorable uh, Ms. Gray, was, what's her first name? Mm -hmm. She was there along with um, the deputy and then they were recognized as the leader of the opposition. And then about maybe 45 minutes later on, the Honorable Mark Brantley showed up. Is he, isn't he the de facto leader of the opposition? That is my understanding based mm -hmm. on the amount of parliamentary seats, isn't it? Correct. Right. So that is my understanding of it. And I gave it a really good analysis yesterday and bounced it off some family members. Mm -hmm. And it just appears to me that this whole thing is really counterintuitive. It, it can't really work. It really can't work because at the end of the day, he, um, the, uh, the, is the it premier, premier of Nevis. Nevis. Right. He's part of the government. Function. Right. He's somehow part of the federal government any way you slice it. You're correct. He so he cannot be officially the leader of the opposition, whatever the, 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 the structure is. He cannot be effectively representing the opposition interests. That is, that is exactly my, my conclusion. And I can't understand how this is happening and how it goes on because irrespective, I mean, I have respect for Mark, I have respect for everybody in the political sphere, but right is right, and the people deserve what they're supposed to have. And I can't see how this is, is, is right in any way. I think what needs to happen in any event is there needs to be a better balance because obviously there's eight seats in St. Kitts. What is it, three in Nevis? Three in Nevis, yeah, 11 seats total. Yeah. And so, so when you, no matter how you slice it, it doesn't really 
fit the way it should. I think it's time for either Nevis to get one or perhaps two more seats, if possible, because the Constitution says there shall be no less than three seats. And that would effectively create a better balance because the people of, of the Federation as a whole are not getting what they're supposed to get. Not being properly in served. Event, no, they're entitled to their opposition. Mm-hmm. And that's not happening. I cannot see it happening. Not without being to the detriment of Nevis and, and by extension... The country the as a whole. Of, because yeah. I saw some, some um, feedback online where um, the honorable gentleman was supposed to make some remarks in his capacity as the leader of the opposition. And right. they, they, they take away from that. Nobody want to hear from you. Because they don't see him in that role as the actual, being the de facto leader of the, of the opposition. So that right. role has to be recognized and such. You have to be active. You have to be proactive in that role. It it's very important. Be, it has to be. Very visible. Even with members of my family mm-hmm. who staunchly supports the, the 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 honorable member from Nevis. General, yeah. And I, I, I support him as well. But where, where this is supposed to work for the nation, I cannot support a system that doesn't work for the, the benefit of the nation. It's impractical. It is. It, it really is. So something needs to be done about this. Well, there is a cause for national debate, but sometimes we get to partisan. We don't want to touch certain things, but you're right. And as you say, in yeah. in um in the lo- local plans, we're going wrong in the morning. <laughs> Come wait in the evening. Right? Well, something is going to have to be done about this because I'm the not construction. for this. I'm a citizen, and I, 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 I'm not happy with this arrangement in any event. Don't care who is in power. Um, there should be opposition to it. That is what makes this thing work. That is what makes the democracy work. So do you Thank have an opinion as to why there aren't many other voices raised against it? I think a lot of people don't understand the way the system is set up, the, the Constitution is meant to operate, and, and so they just sort of go along with what is there. That's part of a problem. Yeah. We go along with what's there because we don't want to upset the status quo. We don't want to offend anybody. And that's that part of the problem. It. That is it. And, so, and, you know, there's something else that I would probably talk about, but I'm going to leave it for, for today. But that's, it, it, you know, growing up in St. Kitts and Nevis, that's all you hear. But that is how it is. But that is how it is. <laughs> That's not what's written. It's people like you that make a difference. I want to thank you for bringing it to the attention of the, well, to national debate. And let's see where that goes. Right? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you Thanks for your for contribution to the program. Okay. Uh, that was a very important call. That was a topic that's been out there just discussing and brush aside. But uh, we will take a, um, a break at the moment and see what happens on the other side. <laughs> 